is a show that focuses on the person behind the brony. I'm your host, Osaka Jack. Please sit back and relax as we talk to this week's guest brony. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Into the Spotlight. This is your host, Osaka Jack. And with me today, I have someone you may recognize from her YouTube channel, Miss Scarlet Peace. Hello, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm not too bad. Not too bad. You're good. Mm. So, for anybody who does not know Scarlet Peace, um, well, why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> All right. I am a pony musician. I make uh, music, and I also make comedy skits called Main Six Table Talk on my YouTube channel. And, yeah, I like making those skits, and I like creating music, and they're pony-related, because that's what I do, and that's what I enjoy, and yeah. that is all that I need to say. <laughs> very Boom. succinct, very succinct. Yes. <laughs> all right, well, how did you um, get started making pony music? Did you have, I mean, have you made music for other fandoms you may have been in before? I didn't really make music for other fandoms. I was a part of other fandoms, but okay, okay. Uh, not like I was. I was just kind of like a viewer of stuff with other fandoms. I didn't really create anything. Right. Um, I started making pony-related music probably around a year ago. I think. Cause oh, I think wow. it was in October. Okay. Okay. That like October of last year that I started. Um, yeah, but I just uh, got into the show and I started. Making, I start, I made a few songs and put them up on YouTube, and people mm -hmm. liked them and said I should, should submit them to Equestria Daily. And at the time, I didn't know what Equestria Daily was. <laughs> and I looked on there, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much more that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> and yeah, I kind of just started posting more music, and people started listening. And yeah, it was, well, it was a while ago, but That's I'm great. still doing it. And yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if anybody has not heard her music, uh, do go check it out. Uh, YouTube channel is going. So, for somebody who has never heard your music, what do you think would be a good introduction into the Scarlet Peace mood? Like the first couple songs that you yeah. listen to? Yeah, what, what, what song is your prime example of This Is My Awesomeness? Uh, I'm not sure, because I, I there's a couple different areas that I like to explore music-wise. Um... I think What We Have Is Magic is a good one to start uh, with. Ah, yes, yes. Maybe Moonlit Garden, you know. Um, I think, yeah, those two. Maybe uh, Journey, the Cutie My Crusader ones. Oh, yes, that's one right. I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think those would be a couple good ones to start out with, see what I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a distinct sound, but I'm, I don't know, I'm hesitant to classify it into a specific genre. People have told me it sounds like indie pop or dream pop. I'm okay. not really sure, but I got several people telling me that's what it was. So Okay. All right. Huh. We'll just call it Peace Pop. Peace Pop. I like that. <laughs> nice. Yay. Copyright. Copyright Osaka Jack. <laughs> well, what um, instruments can you do you play? I play guitar. Okay. I started playing when I was like eight or something, and I'm still not very good at it. I can play chords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I know a little bit of the piano, but I'm not very good at it. I'm okay. very, I just know how to, do, I know a couple chords on the piano, but I sometimes work that into some of my songs. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, basically it's just guitar. Okay, so, but I know I've, I've listened to your music and it's not just guitar. What do you use to uh, create the songs that uh, we listen to? Um, I use a program called Mixcraft. Okay. Uh, it has um, uh, like a like a board on there. You can create virtual, like you know, like synthetic music on it, like right. FL Studio. That's a big popular one. It's a lot like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mixcraft. Wow. Okay. Mixcraft. Yeah. It's not a tip. It's not a very famous one. I don't think a lot of people use it, but. Mm -hmm. Hey, if it works for you, you know, I mean, yeah. that's that's the only thing that's important. I just think it's funny that it approaches some of the uh, fan titles that I've seen on My Little Pony. Mixcraft like is what? magic. Mixcraft is magic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, good work. <laughs> well, and also, um, somewhat recently, or somewhat uh, more recently, you started making some of some videos for the songs, too. Uh, I know one of the videos, A Thousand Butterflies. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, I don't do that very often. <laughs> I was just, I created that song, and when I kept listening to it, I sort of kept, like, seeing, like, a video in my head, mm-hmm. and uh, I wasn't doing anything one day, and I uh, thought, you know what, I should just film it and then make a music video for it, but that's, like, the <laughs> only one I've ever done. I, 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 might do, I may do more in the future, but, right, right. you know. Yeah, it's not something I do a lot, though. <laughs> I think it looked very good. It was, it was I Thank wouldn't you. call it avant-garde, but I did enjoy <laughs> it. I think it matched the music very well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I, you. It took a long time to film that because I had to speed up the song. Right. And then listen to that as we were filming, and then I slowed down the video so it would match the actual song. Uh, so I'd be yeah. in slow motion but lip syncing at the same time. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. I have seen, oh, and... Perhaps somebody out there can correct me. I, I cannot remember who it was, but it was a video where uh, they had taken their song and played it at different speeds. Like, it would be really, really fast, and then all of a sudden really, really slow, and then really, really fast. And they learned how to lip sync their whole song. So the whole music video is played, the, the, the music is played at normal speed, So this, but the camera has to match the person's lip sync. So suddenly they're moving in slow motion, and then really quick fast motion, and then slow motion. Like that must have been so hard to do. I'm sure it, it was really hard to do, but it looked amazing. I mean, it, yeah, I'm not that complicated. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I've I've mentioned I, I've heard some people say um, after they make some music, if they change the tempo on it, uh, like like you did when you were filming Thousand Butterflies, it's almost difficult to go back to the original tempo. It sounds wrong to them. Like, they start preferring the original tempo. Is there any chance we would hear a speeded up Thousand Butterflies release? Uh, if people want to hear that, actually, the reason I didn't get too, um, like, happy... Well, the thing is, the speeded up version Mm -hmm. of Thousand Butterflies sounds so bad. It's oh, like, okay, okay. It's like, it's like, I'm not much like you. No, I'm not. Blah, 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 blah. And it's just like really <laughs> bad sounding. Um, okay. So, yeah, I don't think people would even enjoy that version. Okay. But I could make, you know, make it available. <laughs> <laughs> for, those of the, for those who actually want to hear it, but you know. <laughs> well, if, if it doesn't sound good, no. And actually, yeah, I guess the topic wouldn't work so well for a really quick, peppy beat. But yeah. Uh, because Fluttershy, you know, more yeah. slow-paced. Yeah, for, yeah. Any, for anyone who hasn't guessed, A Thousand Butterflies is a Fluttershy-based song. Which yeah. I would hope everybody listening in would get that by now, but you never know. <laughs> Actually, there's a... I thought I think I mentioned that there's another version of the song that someone did a remix of. Um, Aftermath Music, I think his name is. Uh, he did a re- and it's way better than the original. I seriously, ah. I prefer it to the original. It is so good. Really? Yeah, it is like awesome. But sometimes I just don't listen to my original song. I just listen to that instead. It's uh, huh. very good. I have your songs been um, redubbed or uh, reworked often. I I know of one or two others that I think you've linked to. Yeah, um, there's a couple that have been covered or remixed. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't, there's a, I can't think of any right now. But I have, I, I usually put links to the different versions of them on the right. actual songs themselves. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. Huh. Have there been any remixes or reversions that you just hated? You were just, ah, oh, this is awful. I can't. No, don't do this to my music. There are some that I didn't like. Um, you know, love, but I don't think I hated him. Okay, okay. But, you know, I, I, I was super flattered that they would take the time to, you know, remix one of my songs, I think. Right. That was very cool. Yeah. <laughs> I could just, I don't know, I, I could just envision somebody taking the, um, uh, oh, oh, gosh, I'm apologizing, I can't remember the name of it. The uh, Big Mac song to Fluttershy. Uh, I can't uh, Oh, um, I don't know you at all? Yes, yes. I could just <laughs> imagine a terrible version of somebody putting that to a thumping house music with like, oh, yeah. lightning in the background. <laughs> <laughs> like techno. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> techno might work, but just kind of a uh, get that booty on the dance floor and boom, boom. <laughs> Oh, you at all. <laughs> well, that hasn't happened yet, but, you know, maybe it should. That'd be yeah. awesome. I'd love yeah. to hear that. 
As as a parody, that would be good. But as an actual song, I'm sure it would make you cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I probably think it was hilarious. Yeah. I yeah. love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the songs that you mentioned, uh, Moonlit Garden, there's actually uh, more of a, a fan involvement with that song than some of your others. This one was in a charity album, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in Seeds of Kindness. I was uh, very honored to, because uh, I was asked to be involved with that. And I wanted to make that song, like, extra special. Right. You know? So I, I wanted to add some sort of, like, mystical feeling to it. And uh, so, like, I had this idea of, like, an enchanted garden. Because they said they had a certain, like, theme to the album, you know, like, Seeds of Kindness. Okay. So I thought a garden would be appropriate. And they also said yeah. that, like, for it to be pony-related was optional. Oh, so okay. So I, like, just decided to make just a regular song. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, I like it. It's one of my favorites that I've done. Mm, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Seeds of Kindness, well, uh, can you tell them? What, what was Seeds of Kindness? <laughs> Seeds of Kindness was a charity album that helped, uh, please uh, correct me if I'm getting any of my information wrong, but uh, it was a charity album that helped build a hospital in Uganda, I think. Yep, I think that's Uganda? correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they did a, another album just recently, mm-hmm. uh, Faithful and Strong, was that what it was called, I think? I believe so, yes. Yeah. I was actually asked to be a, a part of that one, too, but I didn't make the deadline. I was oh. really busy. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but still, people should, you know, buy yeah. that one. Guys, check it out, Seeds of Kindness and the follow-up album. Uh, the proceeds went to build Hospital, and I believe, I, I apologize if I get this wrong, but I believe it also went, there was enough of a fund to build a school. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, yeah, I think that's right. Which is a, an amazing thing. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, Made me feel really good and philanthropic to be a part of that. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Well, um, something that you've touched on, I mean, your music is obviously largely pony-based, but not totally. Mm-hmm. Um, but you have been working on uh, themes for each of the main six. Yeah. And I think five of them have been finished, right? Yes, I have all except Twilight Okay. Uh, okay. finished. And done. Okay. But I'm planning on making like a shorter album thing of all of them put together as soon as I release Twilight. Uh, but yeah, all of them are really different and uh, more like focused on that particular character. They're either from the point of view of that character or just about that character. Right, so, right. Yeah. Hmm. Which of those was the most difficult for you to create? Um, probably Pinkie Pies because I didn't I didn't really have any idea what I was what I was going to do with that. I kind of wanted it to be upbeat. Right. And it actually turned more of a sad song than a happy <laughs> one. Uh, it's kind of um, the more sad side. Right. Uh, but, yeah, it, it was kind of... And then I, I decided I was going for too complicated, and Pinkie Pie's really simple, a very simple person. Right, right. You know, so I just had, like, a drum beat and piano, and that was it, basically, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, that one took a while for me to get the idea of what I was going to do. But when I once I got that... I it came out really easily. So that's good. Yeah. Do you have a plan for the Twilight one, or just waiting for inspiration to grab you? I was working on it today, uh, actually. Okay. Um, it was it's it's hard because mm. I've already written a couple Twilight songs, and it's hard for me to find like an I want to find like a new area. Right, right. That I haven't really touched on yet, um, which is hard. So the lyrics aren't coming very fast, <laughs> but I'm working on the music. So. That's good. That's good. Yeah. How long does it usually take you from uh, zero to completion of a song? Well, I usually, uh, I usually think of like a topic. Right. It's either it's either I think of a topic or I, or I create like an instrumental something. Okay. You know. Yeah. But I usually think, come up with a topic first and then create music that kind of fits the mood. Okay. Of what I'm okay. going for. Yeah, yeah. And once I create the whole like. Uh, like the the whole instrumental, like everything, create all the music. I mm. then go through and start finding a melody to it, and then I okay. find, and then that's when I write the lyrics and go through and put it to the me- melody. Um, it takes, uh, uh from like sometimes when a really difficult song takes like a week, okay. but with, when I'm really just on it, and mm. uh, I take like a day. 
Wow. To get it all done. Well, the recording process takes a while. It might take a couple days. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. The creating of the song takes like a day, and then the recording and editing and everything probably takes another day. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. So top speed, we got the 60-hour turnaround type thing? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is, that is rather impressive. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, and if anybody uh, does not know, there is you do have a Bandcamp site. Yep. And there's two albums up there so far. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on the third album, and then I'm going to create the Elements album. Mm. And, yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah. Uh, Equestrian Harmony is the first one, first one I think. Mm-hmm. Is that? Okay. And Poison Joke is the other one. Yep. <laughs> Which, so, course- honestly, if... <laughs> Every time I see Poison Joke, and I, I realize the irony of that working on Everfree Network, but every time I see Poison Joke, part of me starts to wonder, is this person trolling me? Does this not really exist, and they're just joking with me right now? <laughs> what? <laughs> just, no, no, every time it, it's come out to fruition, and it's just fine, but just a part of me is like, are they just joking? Is this, like, nothing at all, and I'm just... Uh, getting trolled <laughs> here well yeah no the, the album is not uh trolling you, just so you know. <laughs> no, it's I a know. regular album yeah. <laughs> oh i know i've gotten both of your albums yeah i know that thank you very 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 much oh you're very welcome <laughs> i do want to talk about and one of the songs that uh you've mentioned i like it giant hat yes <laughs> giant hat yeah um, now this one, I guess it's pony related, but yeah, it's not really a MLP f- song. No, <laughs> uh, it's it's a witchcraft is magic song. <laughs> yeah, it's a witchcraft song. Um, uh, I was like watching all of them one time, and I love them, love them. I was like having a marathon of all of them. Um, I love that show. It is awesome. Uh, Let's work. Yes. And I remember thinking, like, the whole universe they have there, the whole world is so weird. <laughs> and I was thinking, like, what would a love song sound like from that, like, in that world? Like, all the weird, random stuff they would say in a love song. <laughs> so I tried to make, like, a cheesy old love song type of song, except, you know, the lyrics that are just weird and, like, all references to the show. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> It's a fun one. I mean, if you don't know French, if you don't know witchcraft, uh, friendship is witchcraft, then it might be very confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's still sort of entertaining. All the oh, weird, yeah, absolutely uh, stuff. All, all, like even if you don't get any of the references, the lyrics are just so weird that they'd uh, be rather entertaining. But yeah, it's more fun if you uh, are a fan of yeah. French was witchcraft. <laughs> well, have you ever had um, a song that? You've just you've you've worked your butt off in getting it, and it's so close to completion, and you just can't do it. And you're just like, I, I've got a block, and I hate the song now, and throw the whole thing out. Has that ever happened? It was pretty close to happening. With oh my. um, I made a song called "Dear Celestia, Help Me." Okay. And uh, that one I did a lot. I love the music for it, and I don't know, but I just wasn't. I I like the finished product. Okay. But it wasn't like to the point where I wanted to make its own YouTube video and try to submit it to Equestria Daily or anything like that. Right. So I just made it a, an extra track on my Poison Joke album so people could still enjoy it. Okay. But okay. Uh, yeah, for a while there, it was just kind of sitting in my computer. Not I didn't do anything with it for a really, really long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, there's been a couple songs that I worked on that never actually ended up anywhere. But oh. they're none of my... I don't know, none of my favorites or anything. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. So most of the things that you start, you are able to put to fruition. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. toy around with different uh, melodies and different song ideas, mm-hmm. but if I work really, really hard on something, I usually want it to end up somewhere. Well, sure, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that, that's, I, I think most artists have that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I, I think uh, Weird Al Yankovic, said um specifically he said i don't mind working my butt off as long as it gets completed yeah <laughs> and then it's worth it you know? yeah absolutely 
Well, uh, something else that people can find on your YouTube channel, uh, not necessarily music videos, but there are videos. There's a series that we t- uh, briefly mentioned, The Main Six Table Talk. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> If you guys um, I... haven't checked these out, seriously, just take uh, take a good hour because it'll take that long, and go check them out. Number one, two, three, four. They're it'll take an hour. Yes. Well, no, no, I guess it won't. If you rewatch them, it would take an hour. Oh yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, it takes. Uh, yeah, those are fun. I like making those. Uh, they take forever to make, and they're really stressful while I'm making them because it takes like like, four or five hours to film it, and then several hours of editing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, the finished product I like, so. Yeah, they, they've come out really good. They're, they're, yeah. It's funny, and I think they're very well paced, too. And it, and the writing shows that you understand the characters' motivations, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's, like, the most important thing in comedy, I think, is, like, why everyone's doing everything. Sure, sure. Yeah. And another thing that makes the, makes the video funny, I think, is mostly the timing of it. Yeah. Uh, the editing is, I think, like 95% of the humor. It's like how quick everything goes by and, all, and how mm. fast all the lines are. Yeah. Well, and, okay, so anybody who, ha- excuse me, anybody who hasn't seen it, um, there, this is a really kind of an Eddie Murphy-style thing in that <laughs> it's only you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're playing... All six of the main six, and mm-hmm. occasional guest. <laughs> yeah, occasional. <laughs> and basically, it's you changing outfit and hairstyle too, right? Hairstyle, sort of. I like. I mean, flip not, it not totally, over to one side but, or not. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, and <laughs> it really works. I, I've heard somebody compare it to the. Um, uh, camera panning around the table scenes from that 70s show. Ah. Oh. So, it, it, there's not really any pans, though. It's sort of... Yeah, yeah it's it doesn't like pan. It. it cuts on yours. But yeah. it's the same idea that it's the camera in the center of the table, focus on one person who speaks, then focus on the next person, and go mm-hmm. back to the third person. But, but yeah. Yeah. They're, they're really funny. <laughs> if I had a better, like, editing software, I'd probably do, like, where you could see two of me at the same time. But I just I just don't. I just I have to have, like, a close-up on one and a close-up on another. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Which, okay, so which of the main six is the most difficult for you outfit-wise? Outfit-wise. Outfit-wise, none of them are that difficult. I think oh, well. Rarity has the most stuff. I mean, she has a scarf and, like, a jewelry and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh... I think the hardest for me to, like, do, like, would probably also be Rarity. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie gets, needs a lot of energy to get worked up and talk loudly and right, be right. crazy. Yeah. So probably, yeah, but outfit-wise, they're, they're pretty easy. I don't, I just, like, put on another shirt and mm. that's about it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, and, I, oh, gosh. All right, I, I'm sorry if you haven't seen them yet, but I would imagine that, it was more difficult to do derpy for a long time. Yeah. Um, she, <laughs> well, it wasn't like too difficult. Uh, um, I just like, it took like five seconds to film. I just perched up <laughs> on the corner of the, on the table and then, yeah, did like a couple takes and then we were done. But yeah, that was fun to do derpy. <laughs> Need to bring more characters in there. Like derpy. Well, we've seen, <clears throat> We've seen uh, Derpy and Lyra, and mm-hmm. we've heard Apple Bloom and Zakora. Yeah. Are there any plans to bring Apple Bloom into a future one, just like you on your knees walking around a little short person style? Or we talked about that. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna just have her over the phone some more. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay I'm sorry. Those presumptuous. Of, I'm sorry. It's pres- presumptuous of me. There have been four episodes so far. Are there plans to finish out the six? Yes, okay. um, they are going to be far apart though because right. um, I just it's 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 difficult to film because a lot of my people that help me mm. are not available anymore, uh, so it's a lot more work to do. Right. Uh, but they're going to be far apart. But yeah, I'm planning on finishing the series. I'm going to do one focused on each one. Right. So yeah. Okay. But so. we I do want to keep more because there's more subjects I want to bring up like who wins the election like with Rainbow Dash oh yes yes and uh, I want to go back to the topic of uh, Apple Bloom and what her deal is with the voodoo stuff and how <laughs> she's doing with that 
So right, right. Yeah. And did Pinky really disable the cameras, or? <laughs> 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 we will never know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dun dun dun. But Fluttershy knows. Fluttershy knows. <laughs> Fluttershy knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah I, again please do go watch these but um i don't know if i would call these canon within the show no but, <laughs> not at all not in the slightest <laughs> no no but if we changed the characters to our world to the human worlds eh, yeah that's probably not very far off from how it would be yeah, maybe. You know, who knows? They all could, like, lose it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's all their characters. I think it, it, it's with their personalities, but, like, a darker, more... I'm not really dark, but a more disturbing side of their personalities. I think. Well, I think it's more yeah. disturbing than the show is, but, yeah. again, our world is a bit more disturbing than Equestria. This it's... is true. This is true. <laughs> So, so it would just be completely accurate, then, if they were all humans. I, I think it's still a very positive, uh, uh, happy little place that they're, that these characters are in, <laughs> just a bit more realistic in our world. And Yeah, <laughs> most probably. <laughs> I don't know if you want to spoil it, but we've had Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, a- uh, Applejack episodes. Mm-hmm. We've got two more. Have you, got, have you planned out who's going to be starring uh, or featured in the next two, or still up in the air? Yeah. The, oh. the next one is going to be focused on Rarity, and then the one after that, Twilight. Oh. So, yeah, we're going to learn more about Twilight them. Twilight last in a lot of your series, don't you? I know. I don't know why. I think it's because I can't think of very good ideas for her until the last minute. <laughs> the others are really easy to do, I think. Like, you know, because like, their personalities are just so like out there. It's easy to find something to work with. Twilight's a bit more on the serious side, though. Well, and honestly, um, if we bring it over to our world, each of the other's uh, aspects or job, or it, it works in our world. But Twilight's magic does, doesn't really work as well if she's not a unicorn. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Um, we haven't really talked about, like... Uh... Well, the thing is, we refer to them as if they were ponies. Like, I think yeah. we, we, like, hooves and things like that. Yeah. So... I guess we t- could talk about magic because we've discussed how where we are, you know, is is that it's like it is the ponies. We're just seeing them as humans. Yeah, yeah. You know, so we can talk about like like pony stuff. I, so, so I guess we could talk about magic and yeah, things, we, it, but it just wouldn't really work if yeah, they were actually. Harder. Yeah, and I'm people. sure the after editing effects for getting the twilight horn glow as you levitate something would be just uh, a tremendous amount of work that you're probably not willing to do. Yeah, there may not may not be too much levitation going on <laughs> in the show, but you know we'll try our best. Uh, I do have to ask though, how much of Applejack's cooking show was actually filmed? Was it the entire recipe from start to finish? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> we planned out exactly what we were going to shoot, okay. and we shot it. Uh, there was a lot of bloopers, though. I, th- I think I'll eventually oh. show because there was a lot of uh, stuff going on mm-hmm. in the. Well, the cooking show, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But no, I, we I just kind of planned up. I did love the cooking stuff. show, but honestly, looking at your face while you're doing the cooking show, I'm like, oh, this is like fourth take. <laughs> this had to have oh, been yeah, fourth take for her to get that line out. This is almost cracking her up now, but she's holding it. She's holding it. <laughs> I can finally do it. Yeah, it took a lot of takes. That was a big long line, and there wasn't any cuts, mm-hmm. so it was just like a. Like, you know, I had to get it all right and mm-hmm. everything. Uh, yeah, that probably was, like, my fifth take that I did <laughs> that actually ended up in it. <laughs> well, of, of the whole series, which uh, section has taken the longest to do? Just because um, you're cracking up so much or can't get the word out, or for whatever reason. Probably the first one, because oh, wow. we didn't really know exactly what we were doing. Because now we kind of have a system. Mm-hmm. We know what to do and right, right. how fast things are going to take. But the first time, we were still kind of messing with it. And that t- probably took the longest. Probably took around six hours to film that. Oh, wow. Yeah, because uh, also uh, my director, my sister, is mm-hmm. a bit of a perfectionist. So I have to say the line perfectly. So we usually we have uh-huh. like 30 takes of just like the same line. I remember uh, one time, it was the... Um, the one with uh, Zakora mm-hmm. over the phone. There's just one part where Applejack looks over and says, Apple Bloom? When she looks at the phone. Mm-hmm. And she made me say that like 30 times. I had like over, 
like 30 takes of me saying, Apple Bloom? Apple Bloom? Apple Bloom? <laughs> and I was like, really? Why can't <laughs> like none of these work? Uh, <laughs> that honestly would be just good. Just splice them all together one after another. And that's a background for your new song, Apple Bloom. <laughs> Apple Bloom? Apple Bloom? Apple Bloom? <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. We'll call it Apple Bloom. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's, now, I, I would assume that uh, when filming these, you film all of one character's lines and then change outfits, as opposed yeah. to changing each one as you go. Yeah, because that would take forever if we did that. Yes, like, did I'm one sure. line and then change the next character. That would take way longer than necessary. Mm. Uh, yeah, we just, we uh, write up the script, you know, and we divide up all the characters and their lines, and we just uh, go through one character, change, go through the next character. Yeah. Well, and of, of course, don't, you know, not very specific, but general idea of uh, when the next two episodes would come out, like January or springtime? Um, I won't, I think it'll be out before spring, maybe around January, It'd definitely be after Christmas. Okay, okay. Yeah, but probably might maybe around January, early January, something like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for snowy days because you don't want to have your continuity shattered. Half of Twilight yeah. <laughs> with snow in the background, and the other half, oh, it's sunny now. We've done episodes where the first half was filmed when it was light, and then the last half was filmed when it was dark, just because oh, it got my. dark too fast. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, if if that does happen with the snow, just put in one extra line. Oh, they went, wrapped up winter really quickly this year. Hey, they did a really good job this year. <laughs> <laughs> that actually that actually would be funny to hear. But all right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually thinking about doing an episode that isn't around the table. It would take longer, but to do like them walking around and going places, maybe like a special. Maybe we could do like a Christmas special. Ooh, Dang, that's a good idea. There we are. I should do that. Yeah. I'm also th- starting to think about because I'm I want to start doing shorts like okay. maybe like thirty second yeah, episodes. Yeah. They're yeah. not like technically table talk episodes, but like just like thirty second skits with right. a couple of the characters. Well, I think at this point that you've developed the uh, series enough that it just calling it table talk is going to refer to the series and not necessarily just them talking around a table. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, go for it. We could definitely do that. <laughs> Absolutely, thirty second shorts of more. Uh, Zakura flubbed up rhymes. I have to yeah. go. Yeah. Rhymes with go. <laughs> rhymes with go. <laughs> well, um, I, al- I know that uh, earlier this year, um, you went to your first uh, pony convention. Yeah. Pwn 3 Con, right? Yep, in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Pwn, th- pwn 3? Uh, pwn 3 Con is how I say it. I've heard other people say it differently, like Pony Con and stuff. Oh, but, yeah. Oh, pwn- okay. It could be an E. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pwn 3 Con. Okay, well, and you had a panel at that one? Was that right? Yeah, I had a panel, and I met lots of really cool people, mm-hmm. and I was on the guest panel, which that was actually really surprising. I didn't think I was important enough to be on the guest panel. Uh, but yeah, I met lots of really cool people, mm-hmm. hugged a lot of people, got a free <laughs> banana, accidentally oh. hit someone in the face. It was oh, no. a great time. Great old time. Who hit somebody in the face? How did that happen? I was I hugged them and then I was hugging somebody else and then my hand just got extended too much and I kind of whapped them in the face. Oh, them. oh! Do you happen to remember their name? We'll give a shout out to. Uh, Smack- I think it's I think it's Pinksy. I think that's her name. Pinks- okay, so if you're listening in, Pinksy, uh, she apologizes for the smack. <laughs> I hope I got her name right. <laughs> <It'd be really laughs> bad yeah. But yeah, it was a great time. I met lots of really cool people and. I was so tired, though, because the whole day I was running off of two hours of sleep. Oh, wow. And so by the end of it, I, I just, you know, was so, I was like a zombie. I was walking around, like, not knowing what was going on. <laughs> Everything was so, so blurry. Because a friend of mine uh, recorded a lot of it, and I was yeah. watching back the recording, and I was like, I said that? I don't remember saying that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just so tired. It was, like, so blurry and, like, a weird, yeah. It was, it was, it was interesting. Well, are, are we going to get the chance to see those recordings? I haven't seen. Them. Uh, I guess yeah. I could. Uh, she she posted a video. I think I could get the some of the footage from her and like post that on my channel. I, I could ask you to see that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be awesome. Fun. Or if somebody else you know was there and recorded it, put it up, man. Let's watch. Yeah. Let's watch her panel. Thank you so long. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, and uh, to be honest, uh, Pwn 3 Con happened the same weekend as uh, Canterlot Gardens. Yeah. So a lot of people probably were unaware of it, but... Yeah, it was a small convention anyway. It was like, you know, like 300, 400 people, I think. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Well, yeah, it's not, it's not like BronyCon, but it's... Pretty good. It's pretty good uh, size sure. convention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a lot of people probably went who had enough money to probably went to Canterlot and Canterlot Gardens instead. Well, you know. But yeah, uh, yeah, I had fun going to that. That was a good old time. That's great. That's good old time. <laughs> Do you have any plans to attend cons in the future? Well, yeah. I mean, I need to get more money uh, because that a common lament. Yes. Yes, I need to because uh, that costs money, and I need to get more money to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, I'll be able to go more in the future. Maybe I'll get to go to like uh, like a really really big one to meet you know lots of maybe like one where actual celebrities come. That'd be <laughs> that'd be really cool. It's like one of my dreams to meet Ashley Ball someday. So that would be nice. Crossing yeah. my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That would be awesome. Yeah. Any uh, any specific con plans, or just still, if I can? If I can. Okay. I have nothing I have nothing right now. Everything's up in the air. Like, someday, maybe, I'll be able to go right, right. again. But yeah, nothing's official yet. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I asked this question in all of my interviews, and okay. I'd just like to hear your response on it. Is there a scene, specific scene or specific line in My Little Pony that defines your bronyism, that defines you as a brony. Dang, that one requires a lot of thought. I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh man, you put me on the spot now. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay, let me think. What's a good one? Um. Maybe. Hmm. You have to stretch this a bit to apply it to. <laughs> hey, um, no, no. Brony-ism. This is this is your your mind. So if you say it's the part where pumpkin cake pounds on something, okay, well that that works. Whatever. <laughs> it's you. What, you know, for but you. Like, eternal chaos comes with chocolate rain. <laughs> chocolate rain. <So> it's like, <laughs> it comes with chocolate rain. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, okay. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll work with that. That one works. Sure. I mean, I had five seconds to think of some. So. <laughs> sure, yeah. I, I think that flows, you know. Yeah, it works. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. <laughs> Any, <laughs> are we going to hear that cover soon? or just Chocolate uh, rain for <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I don't remember the words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, are there any projects coming up that you really want to plug or something to, for people to look forward to? Um, uh, well, I'm going to be continuing making music. I'm uh, continuing. I'm going to finish my Elements album, get all that out there, put it on my band camp. So that's going to be available sometime soon. Um, um, I don't think so. Anything at the moment okay. that, uh, yeah, but I'm going to... Be keeping making music and making skits, so be aware of all that going on. Is but besides there, that, I think I'm pretty good. Is there any chance that those two will coincide, possibly near the end of the main six of this table talk? Like, like a big a, musical number? Yeah, a sextet musical number. All six singing at the same time. I've actually thought about that, like as a big mm-hmm. finale, maybe on the last episode, have a big old uh, musical number. And... Uh, I may do it. Who knows? Ooh. We'll have to be surprised. Yay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming by and talking to us. Um, everybody, this is Scarlet Peace. You have to go to her Bandcamp page and get her albums. Um, she's been very kind. Her music is still free yeah. for you to get anywhere. But if you have a few dollars that you want to throw towards this, these great albums, it'd be really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I have to say, per, my my personal favorite of yours is the fall. The fall, yeah. I, I well, that's, just love that's the a fall. Yeah. <laughs> it's an old one, but it is. Yeah. It is, but yeah. Did now that one? It seems like you put that music out almost right after the episode. Yes, I did. Like as oh, soon wow. as I 
saw that episode. I think I almost cried watching that episode <laughs> when like they were falling. It was so uh, so cute and adorable. Oh, and yeah. it was actually I thought this is kind of like sort of deep for a cartoon. Yeah. You know, like this is so cool. And I was like, I have to write a song about it. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as that episode came out, I was like, I'm gonna write a song. <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah. anyway, thank you very much for coming by and chatting with us. Well, thank you for having me here. Yeah. Everybody, this has been Scarlet Peace, and uh, be sure to check out her YouTube channel. And she's on Twitter and I think Tumblr? Yep. Okay, and Tumblr too. And Bandcamp, of course. Mm-hmm. Everybody, this has been Into the Spotlight with Osaka Jack. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>